What's going on guys, Jurassic Gear. Today we are checking out Gas Station Simulator. Special thanks to Drago Entertainment for getting us a copy of the game. We do have the DLC Tidal Wave, however, we're going to hop into the original game just to get the feel of it. And maybe next episode we'll go ahead and jump right on into the DLC if you guys are enjoying it. Alright, so let's start with the Dust Bowl. Somewhere on Route 66. You are now the owner of the Dust Bowl gas station. Twelve hours later. Now, I believe I remember correctly, we did play the demo of this game a long time ago, but I wanted to get used to the base game before we go and start doing anything crazy like doing DLC. So we do have some trash around here that we need to toss. Inside the bins here. I'll be able to do it from here. Oh yeah, we can throw it. Nice. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We reset it. Not sure what that actually did, but cool. We do have a few boards that we're going to have to remove in order to get inside of our gas station here. Might be a little bit of a fixer upper. Cautionary under construction. You know what? At least we got a clock. That's something, right? <laughs> Find a way to turn on the electricity. All right, so the cables look like they're going to this little panel here. All right, so from outside of our building, it looks like our panels take us all the way over to this zone, right next to this little generator here. Might be a little bit of a fixer upper, not gonna lie. We have the phone in front of the station. Yeah, we bought this place on a little bit of a discount. However, I don't think they told us it was in this bad of a shape. Congratulations on your purchase and investment, little nephew. It has been a while since you've heard my voice now, hasn't it? Yes, I'm a busy person. But luck would have it that the land you've purchased once belonged to my father. Since you are not only a potential business partner, but family no less, I'll do my best to help you. I will send you emails on a regular basis providing you with information on how to handle each part of the business. Do make sure to pay attention. Well, I must head off now. It was pleasant speaking to you again. Good luck. Thanks, mister. All right, so we need to read the email. And we'll probably, you know, take out the boards off. That way people can actually come inside of our building. It does look like we're actually supposed to be throwing these in the trash instead of just tossing them on the ground. But, you know, baby steps. All right, so we got mail here. Howdy. Or greetings and salutations. The dialect never really was my forte. Regardless, I've just heard you made a solid investment, though I pity the fact that you had to sell your car for it. You'd have always asked me for a loan. I'll put you in with a few tips and tricks. My email will come periodically so you can index them and their topics. So you need to get this station up and running. Who knows how badly it got damaged all these years ago? Don't forget to keep generating profit refurbishing a fuel dispenser first. Oh, and don't worry about the money for this part. We're family after all, and my family keeps an eye on each other's backs. I'm here to lend a helping hand, and a man like me puts money where the mouth is, as they say. I don't trust them. Ooh, we actually get to use the excavator.
Alright, control the excavator, WASD, left mountain button to pick up, drop sand, handbrake, spacebar, left shift to use turbo. The engine overheats while scooping and using turbo, exhaust turns red, hold right mouse button to cool it off. Overheating will cause you to lose extra fuel and stop turbo. Alright, so that seems relatively basic. Yeah. Gotta say, fuel's definitely going to be a thing. Alright, so we got this magic check mark that tells us exactly where to go. While holding a jerry can, left mouse button on the distributor to replenish it. If it's full, click left button on the excavator fuel cap to refuel it. All right, so it's empty right now. I know right now the place looks a little rough, but eventually it's going to be a nice shape. Perfect. Where did I park this thing at? Around over here. Get on the right side. Nice. All right, so let's just put that away for now. Get inside the excavator. And we got work to do. Okay, so if you get the right angle on it, then you're able to just scoop it up. If you get too close, it's not actually going to be able to pick it up. Okay, so we dropped the sand over inside the pit here. Nice! I think we're going to take some time to get rid of all the sand, and then we'll open up the place, because I feel like the parking lot's probably going to be fairly important, too. Alright, but you know what? We do have one issue. <laughs> well, for one, we're out of fuel. For two... We definitely need to have a profit. That way we can actually have a sustainable place. There's a place for them to park, though, so they can at least come inside, you know, appreciate the nice, fine Dust Bowl gas station that we got here. You don't close the gas station anytime. Use the downtime to organize the gas station or do other activities that you can't find. Right click on the lever and the button and restarts the traffic. All right, so hold on. We got this. So, delivery, fuel supply. May as well order it, right? Alright, so while that's happening, we definitely need to clean up this whole place. Test your skills on the arcade while you wait for the next assessment. What? There's an actual arcade? What? All right, WASD to move, space spider jump, get through all the checkpoints in an outlined order, finish the race before minute 15 to get $20 reward. All right, so we have 17 checkpoints that we need to do. This first corner here, you want to go kind of slow because you don't want to go super fast to get underneath that little... Alright, so this first corner, you actually don't want to be going too fast so we can go underneath the little ladder here. Now, this RC minigame here, you definitely want to try to stick as close to the road as possible because sometimes the camera view does get a little crazy whenever it's trying to follow the vehicles inside the game. And let's just try to hug the course as close as possible here. Now, we did say earlier that we do have the Tidal Wave DLC, which we will check out eventually on the channel. However, I wanted to get a little bit more of like the base game shown off. That way we can get a you know, proper experience of the game before we jump into the DLC. That way we have kind of a gist of what's actually about to happen. Might have came over that bump a little bit too fast. It just sort of thudded there. Oh, nice. Looks like we got a pretty cool ramp here. So we'll go around that tower. We do have a customer at the fuel station while we're over here playing with the RC car, but you know what? It's fine. Everything is fine. They can wait. We are not going to do this in a minute 15. 
Okay, you know what? We are going to complete it. I'm happy. All right. So let's not smack our head into there. We need to get the fuel from the truck. We need to then provide the customer with fuel. All right, there we go. Fueling status is low. Don't worry, sir. This place is chop notch. Grab the injector when the client is waiting. Fuel cap is, will be outlined. Fuel the car by interacting with the cap. Left shift to boost the speed. Hit the mark to get paid. Tip if close to target. Good job. That was fairly close. Uh, buy a trash bag and equip it. Yeah, that might be important. Alright, so let's clean up all of our mess. With a trash bag, you can pick up small garbage and replace the garbage bags in the cans. Bigger garbage like junk or filled with trash bags must be put in containers outside. Finally, you need to order a garbage collection using a PC. If you left trash cans for a long time, they will start to stink and discourage customers. Alright, so let's just run around, pick the place up. It's a little rough. Oh, you even pick up the boards and stuff as trash? I didn't realize that. I mean, I don't see why they would say just like pick up 20 items when there's a whole lot of other stuff here that we can grab. All right, so we want to run over to the bins here. Toss the trash bag inside. Looks like we need to dispose of 12 things. This isn't that dirty, is it? All right, so we have another customer inside of our fuel station. I've just been slowly cleaning the whole place up. See, the thing is, Super. it needs a lot of work everywhere. So I've just been sort of slowly trying just to like collect everything. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we get the broom. And by the way, inside the settings there, there is a option to turn off the ghost of rock and roll. I have it turned on, so he's just able to, you know, just hang out with us whenever he wants to. So if you guys see a ghost just, you know, like flying around the gas station, you know, crazy. It's actually a thing. Maybe he's the one leaving all this random spots on the ground. I believe there's even a Santa Claus. I'm pretty sure I heard a ho ho ho. Yeah, so I've just been running around sort of picking and choosing what I wanted to actually fix this shop. This is our main dumpster here. What are a garbage collection on the computer? Yeah, that could be important. Dennis. Dennis will appear on the station occasionally and paint graffiti on the walls. Stop him by throwing items at him to scare him off. New events will appear during the course of the game. You can turn them off in the options so they do not happen again. Get over here, Dennis. <laughs> I should be paid for You, no pranks here. All right, now that we dealt with Dennis, you just, oh. Have you figured out what you would like yet? No, not yet. All right, there we go. Oh, you hardly wanted anything. Get out of here, shoot. Oh, uh, let's see here. So we need tools, paint roller. 
We'll fix this place up in no time. Don't you worry. All right, so let's go and throw away all these random things. UFO? <laughs> That's actually decent graffiti. I don't know if I want to get rid of it. Our building's looking kind of rough. But you know what? We will take a few days to get this place in top notch shape, and then we will make the most money in the world. All right, so we got nine emails to go through. I feel like we should save this box for Dennis. That is the Dennis box. All right, so computer, we have some mail that we need to get through. <coughs> I see you found Rudy. I'm talking about the excavator. One of my contractor workers got it. Let's say attach the thing. Eventually the name stuck. So he's ready now. Either way, I don't need her, but I can see how she'll come in handy for you. Just be careful. She's old. The gears will overheat if you gather sand. You might have to vent the heat. If you do not, the engine will overheat and you will lose extra fuel. Oh, and don't dump the sand just anywhere. Either haul it outside of your station's border or look for the designated area to pile it up. Technically, I believe your type of license shouldn't cover driving heavy duty vehicles like Rudy, but I'm willing to cover for you. Out of my heart, out of mind, and besides, I know quite well that you don't really get patrols in your area, not any significant ones. At any rate, happy hauling. All right, so we got a breakdown of the jerry cans. We get that. We get the opening and closing, ordering fuel. This is all just like the basic stuff that we've already learned. I don't think that's too important to read. Once equipped, uh, let's see your color, use shift to select a color. All right, there we go, nice. All right, so as you slowly paint the wall, you just want to stick inside the wall there. I feel like we're supposed to be, you know, clearing out the outside, but the inside need to paint it too, to be fair. It needed it in rough shape, in my opinion. It'll look much better inside here. People will actually want to come inside, and we might need to fix whatever this weird contraption is that's blocking the way. That's not good for business. I really hope we don't get stuck in here. Paint will degrade over time. All right, so we are going to have to do the whole painting thing quite frequently, it looks like. But uh, I already did this one. Oh, hold on. F. There we go. Perfect. All right, so if you get too far in the red, it automatically splashes you. It looks like the closest side to you that doesn't really affect it as much, though. It definitely wants us to paint the outside of the walls, but you know what? We're fine. Maybe you guys can decide what the color is inside this building. For now, it's going to be this little teal color. I think it looks decent, though. We don't really start off with too many options anyways. Oh, is it painting the front and back? Find the right tool to break into the car trunk. Ooh. Nothing to see here, officer. We're just, you know, taking a little bit of a peek. Might have gone a little bit too far. All right, so we got the building all painted. Uh, let's fill up this dude. I don't know how long you've been waiting. Probably been a minute since I wasn't paying attention. But you know what? It's fine. Top of the line job there. Thank you. I hope you weren't the one that we were supposed to break into. All right, so it did not paint the outside. Ooh. All right, so A and D to rotate the pin, space bar to try to open the trunk. Be careful not to break the pin. You have two attempts. If you fail or leave, you will not be able to try again.
Well, that was easy. Hang the dustful painting inside the gas station. Decoration, dust bowl. Perfect. Oh, the trash has actually come. It collected all that junk that we threw in there. So now we have enough room to get rid of all of you. We do need to put the trash bag inside of our, you know, bins there. But I think we're actually starting to look like a decent place that could be considered open. All right, hold on, mister. Let's get our hands out, grab you, fill you up real quick. Thank you. All right, so it says buy two shelves. So we need to go into furniture, shelves, stock drinks, alcohol, car maintenance, newspaper, ice cream, snacks. So I feel like we want a... We'll buy a big soft drink, right? And a snack. All right, so Q and E to rotate. Uh, let's see here. Now we do want it... Well, we don't want it blocking our picture here. So we put it like right there. I kind of want to move the trash bin, but I don't think we're able to. And we'll just have to put the big soft drink over on this side. I wonder what's actually holding up like this whole place here, because that just looks awful. Uh, Close enough. Perfect. Buy additional parking spaces in the PC. All right, so that'd be under features, other. Free. You don't make a purchase before cleaning the area. All right, so we need to get our excavator to finish cleaning out the area, which is what we were originally going to do, but we got sidetracked. All right, so considering the fact that we don't have any employees, I'm not sure how we're supposed to manage clearing out the parking lot and filling up customers' gas all at the same time here. All right, what do you want, mister? Man, you want a ton of fuel. All right, hold on here. Get you going. Ooh, nice, we got a tip. All right, so now we can go drop the sand off. I think that was the only other parking spot that I had to clear out. Now, we do have like a proper sand disposal site here, or we can just dump it off to the side of it. It doesn't actually matter. You do want to be sure if you're picking up or dropping off that you're completely setting still, and then your vehicle will actually allow you to pick up. You can't do it while you're moving. But you know what? We could just leave it here. I think that's all the parking spot spaces that we needed to. Then we can just go in and order it now. Features other and free. Nailed it. Answer the call. Hello. I see the business is doing well. I'm calling to congratulate you on successfully getting it off the ground. But. You can't run a business on fuel alone. I've had a few of my people deliver some extra stock for those empty shelves of yours. Time to talk money. You now owe me. Well, I'll send you the invoice to your email. Don't miss it. I'm sorry, nephew, but there is just no room for charity in this world. I hope you'll find it within your finances to repay the debt. Otherwise, we'll be forced to see to more persuasive methods of reimbursement. Don't have me wait too long now. Goodbye. Wait, did this man just help us out to then threaten us immediately? Is he part of the Mafia? That sure took like a quick turn of events. I mean, good news is... Thanks. Our feeling seems to be working out decently here. Uh, let's see here. So we need to... 
They're the customer at the cash register. There is no customer at the cash register. All right, so hold on. We need to find trash, I think. Oh, customer. Awful customers, there we go. Get us all the money. You just trying to steal that? Got a broom and I'm not afraid to use it. All right, left shift to belt. All right, we got this. All right, I failed this. I didn't ask for this. Well, I'm sorry. I gave you a free thing. My bad. The chip sort of got stuck on the ledge there. using the PC. Here you go, uncle. Pay off our debt. Kind of. All right, so we got customer red. Ooh, the officer. We are being extorted by our uncle. Super. Whoa. Oh, we have more stuff to throw in the bag. Still can't really do anything at all about the inside of this building. I like the grandfather clock, though, so we're going to keep that. I wish that I could just, you know, like bottle up whatever's in our hand. That way we don't have to just like keep picking up random things. But it doesn't work that way. Which is weird, because that's the only way I can get a garbage bag inside the facility. So that means we have to run around here and like find random things to finally fill up our bag. That didn't work. Not having the bag, then you just come over to the bin and fill it up. But I guess you don't actually need a bag. All right, so he's going to slowly get inside of the place. You know, the outside's not looking too bad. Let's do left shift. Go with white. Alright, so we'll go with our hands. We do have a customer inside the register that we have to deal with soon, so he doesn't sit there and walk off with our supplies. Alright, let's get out of here. What? Yeah, that time, that one was on me. I definitely just dumped all of your stuff out. I kind of like the white boards on the side here. And then I think we're going to go with a different color on the side of like the building. Uh, let's see here. So let's get you. We don't really have much options though. Like the darker color. That might look good. Especially if we paint like the wooden windows there, I think it'll look decent. Just 
just trying to make the place, you know, look decent after all. Maybe it'll make more people come inside if it doesn't look completely bad. Although, if we keep messing up the register, who knows? They might just, you know, automatically hate it. And one more for good measure. Oh, super. All right, so let's go answer the call from our uncle once again. Hey, Pong. Where's our goddamn money? Wake up, Sam. You've got a gas station to run. Hey, nephew. Back on your feet? I hope your head's no longer spinning. Thanks for picking up. We need to talk. There was a mistake. A serious one. You can rest easy knowing I will have the responsible people dealt proper... retribution for what has happened. The amount of time on your investment loan deadline was rendered far too short for what the amount was. It's plain bad business. And I don't make bad business decisions. Let's forget about this debacle for the time being. As a token of apology, please accept this small gift. It will help with your next delivery, no strings attached. However, you will need to make the warehouse operational again to receive it, somehow. You're a resolute lad. You'll figure it out. Thanks, I think. All right, so let's see here. We got another customer. Now, we never actually got to finish painting, though, so hold on. We have a couple different options here. I mean, oh, can you not actually paint the wood as just one color? I think it'll look decent with that color. And plus, it'll hide kind of like the dirtiness of the place anyways. Having it dark on the outside with blue on the inside? Or we might end up, you know, changing it all to like white or something like that in the next episode. Who knows? All right, so let's fill up the customer's car. Super. Super. We do need to order more fuel. So that'd be inside of deliveries. Fuel supply. As a gas station, I don't know why you wouldn't want to order just the max amount of fuel anyways, because of course you're going to have a whole lot of fuel. Whoops. You'll live with a few items that accidentally never got put inside your bag. Oh, I didn't 
even know I was supposed to be cleaning this stuff. You know, I saw the sponge earlier. All right, guys, that's going to be for today. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.